why do people want third person? I don't get it. I really don't get it. People just limit themselves to what they play, and I don't get it. First party games. Look at the fun bags on that hose hound. I'd like to eat her liver with some farver beans and a nice bottle of key ante. <laughs> Come here. Look at this. First person mode does not give people motion sickness. Hey, stupid motherfucker. Oh boy, here we go again. The motion sickness queen has arrived. I'm back, all right, because we gotta address some of these statements said because they are just the worst when it comes to this topic about motion sickness and Indiana Jones. Yeah, we're here again because it's a mess. And as your resident motion sickness expert, it's my duty to clean this mess up. So get your trash cans and your drama mean ready and let's just do this. Uh, by the way, people's motion sickness went overnight. Well, it uh, went away as soon as it was announced for PlayStation 5. Yeah, the miraculous cure for motion sickness. It was beautiful. <laughs> okay, I want to know who are they talking about? I want names. Seriously, who said that? Don't be shy. Go ahead and tell us who said that because that sure as heck wasn't me. And I'm one of the, if not the most, vocal about motion sickness when it comes to video games. And it's funny because the one time I actually interacted with this guy, Jamie Moran, it was around the time Indiana Jones was announced and he was talking about how we were faking motion sickness because it's an Xbox game and that we never suffered from it before. <laughs> <laughs> that we were just lying to hate on Xbox. And when I asked him for receipts, I asked who was doing that. He couldn't provide any, of course. So then I told him, well, then you should stop spreading these lies because you're just misinforming people. He decided to spread something else and he blocked me. So all this talk about, oh, I talked to people about this. And by the way, let's put this out there because I've had this conversation with a lot of people. Yeah, right. Don't believe that. He does not. When he's challenged, he will block you, especially if it's someone who actually has proof of their own condition, who plays games and has the voice to speak on behalf of it. He'll block you. He doesn't want to hear it. He wants to live in his lies and wants no consequences. But that doesn't work around here. I don't know if you got the memo or not, but if I'm passionate about something and you're misinforming people about that thing, you're gonna get called out, especially when you have the nerve to say something like this. First person mode does not give people motion sickness. This is the, the weirdest misconception. So whenever someone says they get motion sickness from first person mode, they don't. They don't. <laughs> Everybody stop the presses because Jamie Moran says we don't get motion sickness from first person games. We're all cured. Can you believe it? Just like that. Boom, we're cured. It's never gonna happen again. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Just because you don't get motion sickness with first person games doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Just like when I don't get motion sickness with the Gears of War roadie run, it doesn't mean that doesn't exist because I know it does. Thankfully, I was never one to suffer from that specific motion sickness, but uh, guess who does? Do you know what else has camera bob which gives me motion sickness sometimes? Gears of War when you do the roadie run. Right? Yes. Yes. When the screen shakes all over the place like it's, you know, um, like one of those handheld camera movies. And that gives me a little bit of motion sickness. That, that's why whenever I post Gears of War clips on Twitter, I'm never running around. <laughs> so you're telling me you suffer motion sickness from the roadie run or the woadie one, we should say. Woadie run. In Gears of War and the camera shaking and all that that it's limiting your gameplay literally to the point where you cannot run in Gears of War or else you get sick. I swear, do you guys listen to yourselves when you say these things? Like, do you not put two and two together or understand the irony of things? Does that not happen in your brain? Now imagine a first person game that is constantly making someone sick. You would think Somebody like Jamie would understand those limitations, but instead he wants to dictate what is motion sickness and what's not and what causes it and what doesn't to make it so there's only one type and other types don't exist. Like what planet are you on? Just as you could look at the Gears of War roadie run and think, man, I can't do that. I can't run in these games if it shakes like that. Some of us can do the same when we look at first person games and we could just know that that's going to make us sick. 
So the fact that I look at Indiana Jones and know that that thing is going to make me sick, that's been my entire fuel for desiring third person because I actually want to play that game. I did a whole video on that. That'll be in the description if you want to check it out. This is a follow-up because this narrative of us faking things is still going, clearly, just to rationalize whatever they want in their head because they're just so wrapped into console wars. It's just to the point where they have to come up with something, right? They have to say that we're lying just to make themselves feel better. That's what it is, really. Listen, PlayStation fanboys are bad in their own ways, but the one thing I constantly see about Xbox fanboys, such as this, is the straight up delusion, because that's all this is. The constant conspiracy theories, the way Xbox games are reviewed versus how PlayStation games are reviewed, Xbox media bias, the Xbox tax, the whole conspiracy about, oh, this measuring stick is different for PlayStation versus how it is for Xbox. There are different measuring sticks when it comes to Xbox. Like, look, I'm not trying to get preachy or console war rhetoric, uh, you know, uh, you know, or anything like that, but there is different measuring sticks when it comes to games. And it seems like the, the biggest of the sticks is Xbox. And these guys will just nod and agree with each other. Even if one is lying, the other one will say, yeah, you're right, dude. <laughs> like, you're right. They just agree with each other's lies and delusions. And it just becomes this cycle of feeding this to their audience. You don't, you don't see people going around saying, hey, we want The Last of Us with a first person option nobody cares nobody asks that why do we want to have a third person mode for a first person shooter i don't know about you guys but when i hear things like this especially when it comes to naughty dog i just think to myself what because playstation and especially naughty dog are always ridiculed for that third person over the shoulder cover based shooter or cover based gameplay the template I've made fun of it myself on this channel, the Sony template. It's a thing, it's a meme at this point. It's well known. And there's been many times I've seen gamers asking Naughty Dog and asking PlayStation to do something different, to get away from that template. Like, have these guys been asleep or something? Do they just not know these things? So it just makes it even more funny when they have this whole argument for people wanting first person Indiana Jones because they don't want it to be uncharted, right? That's always the thing. We don't want it uncharted. We don't want it to be like Naughty Dog. When uncharted is made by the poster boy of third person over the shoulder, Naughty Dog, right? Am I the only one using critical thinking here? Because it feels like I am when I see these clips. There's literally people who like the look of Indiana Jones because it's not Naughty Dog's Uncharted. That should tell you people criticize Naughty Dog for doing that point of view. You literally complain about third person and want them to change. But we can't ask that of machine games because why? Oh, because it's the developer's vision. Oh, that's right. Now it's about the vision, huh? Now it is? <laughs> Now we shouldn't ask anything, but every other day of the week, we could complain about Naughty Dog doing third person, right? That's okay. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's all nonsense. And it's even more nonsense because we all know if this was reversed, if this game was third person, they'd be eating it up. Or if they added a third person option, they would eat that up as well. Oh, it's a, oh, good job, man. We got these accessibility options. Options are good and <laughs> all that bullshit. You know, that's how it would be because it happened with Avowed. They added third person and then people are like, oh, cool options. Options are always good, but now it's the developer's vision when they don't do it. Oh, respect the developers. Machine games is good at first person. <laughs> Isn't Naughty Dog good at third person? What are we talking about here, you know? So that, that's just what makes me laugh when I hear this stuff because we know it would flip if things were flipped. That's just how it is. That's how fanboys are. They just go with the wind of what their company tells them and they ride or die no matter what. And they will double, triple, quadruple down even if it's a bad opinion. And it always boggles my mind that this stuff just goes unchecked in this community by so many people. People just let this fly. 
the constant misinformation and the bias that's behind everything they say. I mean, can you even can you even trust a review from these guys once they play the game? I know I couldn't. There's no way. There's no way. And that's my biggest pet peeve here as a content creator especially is the disservice that this does for gamers. And granted, some of them probably don't care. They are fanboys themselves and they just go to these podcasts to get validation. That's a thing. But for the real gamers who listen to this stuff and nod their head thinking that this is true, I wish I could save you. <laughs> I feel like I'm that guy outside the, the pet store and he's talking to the cat and he's like, I'm gonna get you out of here. That's me. That's how I feel sometimes. I'm gonna get you out! And don't get me started on this Call of Duty gameplay that was playing in the background. Holy shit. I gotta go, seriously. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I gotta go. I think I said enough. I say this with all my videos, but you know, it's nothing personal. This is all video games at the end of the day. And I know people are still going to get mad at me and, and whatnot. I'm already blocked. Or I should say I was blocked because I don't have Twitter anymore. But you know, now I'm getting blocked on YouTube. So, <laughs> so it's fun. You know, it's fun. We're having fun, right? I, I, I always want to just have fun. And hopefully you guys laughed at this video. Let me know if you did. Uh, I am very serious about the motion sickness thing. We got to stop acting like people are faking it because there's a lot of us who actually do suffer from it. And I'm the queen of them, unfortunately. You think I want this? I always tell people this when they, when they joke around with me or they act like I'm faking it. Do you think I want this? Listen, I wish I was lying about this. Anyways, I'm done. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.